is Miss Kibble and welcome back to another video. Now, I know this video has been, I mean, not this personal video, but this video has already been, probably been talked about, that what I'm going to talk about now. Title update 54 is finally released. It was released about an hour ago. I was busy. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I was busy editing. I had to go change my mom's oil in the car so that I can get ready to go to the river today. Um... So we're leaving in a couple hours, so I really need to get this video done. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I was not here for the last title update, or it was just like a little update kind of thing where they added choker boxes that you can use, um, and they're in different types of colors, so I thought that was pretty cool. And they also added different colors of beds, which is awesome. I think I'm going to stick with the red one, because I really like the red one. But... The shulker boxes, man, I love them. I love the shulker boxes. I'm glad they added those. Um, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, the fav my favorite one is probably going to be the red one, obviously. Um, but they also added this concrete in the last update, which is awesome. Uh, the it, the uh, concrete powder dust is like a um, it's just like the uh, what's that thing called? Like sand. And then they also added these like little pattern blocks that you can use. Um, and put them in any direction and stuff, which I thought was pretty cool. Um, so this was all from the last update right here, and these uh, little uh, blocks as well in the shulker boxes. I think the beds are brand new. I think they were uh, in this update that they came out with. Uh, what they also came out with in the last update was iron nuggets and uh, the shulker shells. Uh, but in this update, they also came out with some new uh, mob spawn eggs. Um, first we got this little, um, peaceful mode. Okay, let's turn on hard, just for now. They got this little guy, which is a Vex. It comes out of, uh, it's summoned by the, uh, Evokers, which is awesome. It, he just looks so cool. I heard they're pretty easy to kill, they're not that hard. And then you also have, uh, this little guy that looks like a villager, which is extremely weird. Uh, but this is the thing that summons those little, um, that summons those, uh, thingies. So yeah, as you can see there, oh my god. Uh, I died. Uh, I guess they're pretty strong. <laughs> well then, so I guess we're just gonna fly back. It wasn't really that far, um. Now, they also added a, a new type of village, I believe. Um, I forgot what it's called, uh, honestly. Um, but I heard it's pretty cool. It's like a... Um, I forget. It. It's either a biome or a town type of thing. I don't really remember, honestly, the entire thing what I was told. Um, but this update is... is I'm, I'm loving it. It's pretty. It's a, it looks extremely cool. And I believe in this update they came out with uh, shulker spawn eggs, uh, some zombie horse spawn eggs, some llama spawn eggs, and parrot spawn eggs. Which parrots? Uh, where? I don't think I was this far out. I think I lost where I was at. <laughs> well then, um. No, I think I was up here. Oh, there's a village. I think I was over here somewhere. Hopefully, I was over here. I just put these uh, gigantic, the uh, gigantic things on because I, uh, I enjoyed it. It's pretty cool. The uh, gigantic mountains. I, they're actually really cool. I do like them. Um. I guess I lost where I was at. <laughs> That's why you don't go in survival without some golden apples. Alright, well, anyway, they got uh, these parrots. Do they have different colors? Oh my god, they do. They're so cute. Oh, they're so cute. They're so cute. They got these beautiful llamas. Oh my god. I believe if you still hit them, they spit at you. Yep. Oh my god. It's just as on PC. They got these zombie horse eggs now. I think these are new. Or they were in the, out in the last one. 
uh, in this dark place because I don't have my light on back there. Uh, sorry, I just wanted to get this video done and rushed, um, rushed out for you guys. And then they got the uh, Shulker Spawn Eggs, which is awesome as well. Oh, please don't hit me. And then they also have a stray. Oh, that's a stray. That's a stray. The, the zombie horse is fun. And then I believe the husks are new. It's just that uh, dirt zombie type of thing that gives you that uh, disgusting uh, 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 hunger bar. And this guy, he's probably like, he's just a witch, really. And I mean, he's still pretty cool. He, he looks extremely cool. But, anyways, I hope you did enjoy this video. Uh, there might be a lot of stuff that I missed. I don't know. Actually, yep, I know what I missed. I know what I missed. And there is something new. What is it? Oh, you can color your armor now? Okay. That's kind of cool. That you can color your armor in here instead of in Anvil? No. What's hitting me? Who's hitting me? Stop it. But I am missing a couple stuff, so I'm not getting off the video yet. Um, so let's go back into creative. Let's go over to the redstone, and now we have observer blocks. Which, if you were to put an observer block of, uh, on top of a sugar cane and then some pistons, I believe it automatically sends a signal to the pistons, or if it's something like that. Um, I'm not really familiar with the observer blocks, but I heard they're extremely cool. Um, so I can't wait to use these in uh, future builds because uh, I was told they're pretty cool. Um, so. Where's the face? The face is on the back side. Uh, can you click into them? No, you can't. But those are also another thing that was uh, implemented into this update. Also, another thing was um, beetroot soup and rabbit stew because I did not see those last time. That is completely new to me. I have not seen those ever. Uh, and I think that's about it for this update. Which, that's a lot. I'm not gonna lie. No, 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 no. I'm not done. The totem of dying. Or uh, undying. Which is also, also another cool thing. Which we need to spawn in a one, one of those things again. So let me go over here. Let me grab. I did not see that one. Let me grab and all three of these. I want to see what this looks like. Oh, well then. I never saw that. I've never seen that egg. Uh, the Vex is that small thing. Okay, we don't need those. Get out of here. So, if we go ahead and put this Totem of Dying into your uh, little hotbar, your uh, second hand, and then go into survival mode, because I'm pretty sure you'd already be in survival mode. Um, we want. Uh, okay, place down the ham, and then once they kill you, you won't die, because you have the uh, Totem of Dying. But I was so close. It killed me. But that's actually pretty cool. Uh, I did not know that until later, earlier today, uh, whenever I watched a video on it. Wait. Yeah, I watched. Who did I watch? I watched somebody use those in a uh, video. I don't remember who it was, but it was pretty cool. Um, they still have all these uh, potions and stuff like that. I don't think there's any new. That's new. Curse of Vanishing. That's new. Uh, I don't think there's any new um, enchantment books. Well, Curse of Blinding. That's new. So I guess you could curse people now, which is extremely cool. And there's a new. I just got a tweet from Minecraft. Uh, you can't see it. But there is a new DLC for, for Glide, which is coming out, I believe, today or something like that. Uh, so let's go ahead and maybe grab a, um, let's just do some TNT. Let's do two TNT, side by side, right there, place the lever in the middle, and then let's go ahead and, um, go back into survival mode after I grab another totem. Uh, because the sad thing is you can't stack them, which if you could stack them, then that would just be... You'd reset, basically. Uh, but you can only have one totem in on your hand. You can have another one, like, just sitting up there just in case you're ready, in case you want to uh, just plop it up in there. Uh, but I have to change it off. Jeez. 
Boop. So let's flick that, and then I'm still alive. And that tote, as you can see, it gives you a couple golden hearts, and all these uh, splashes go around, and you are um, splashed with regeneration two potion uh, because of the totem, which that is that's awesome. So if you are able to find totems, I would advise you to use them. Um, whenever, like, just have one into your left hand whenever, uh, you need it. <clears throat> whenever you're going out or going in a mine or something by yourself and you have no armor, really nothing, and there's a lot of zombies, then yeah, go ahead and use them. So, we'll do a, another little demonstration of the totem again. Uh, say I'm... Let's go up to this top little thing here and just fall. So, we're... We're falling. Oh no! My totem saved me. So I wouldn't have died, and then you just basically need to run so that you don't die. Um, and I have no idea what these curse of blindness books do or anything, which that is, that is just awesome. It really is. Um, but this is so far a really a good title update that I'm liking. Um, I'm probably going to do a lot more stuff with these with this type of stuff that they added. Uh, I did see a mule spawn egg, and I've never seen the spawn egg. I must be stupid, but I think I am. Um, they can carry chests. I think these are old. I'm not sure, honestly. Uh, but, yeah, that's about it for this uh, episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy. Um, if there's stuff that I'm missing, comment down below. Uh, I did try to put everything into this video. I don't know if I did. I don't know if I didn't. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, hope you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you all tomorrow with another video. Peace out and have an awesome day.